Tuesday night we are going to play with the um, actually two transfers tonight cottontails that is this guy this is the big guy this is an e-size transfer we're just going to use all the bunny rabbits from there there's actually four rabbits and then the um, spring bunnies pattern this is cute too I thought this was darling so we're going to use both of these um, there are some cutouts involved tonight. Um, if you look, well, it's, I don't think it's up yet, but the um, Etsy shop decor cutouts, that's all one word, D-E-C-O-R-C-U-T-O-U-T-S, um, Etsy shop, they will have these cutouts for you. Hi, mom. Um, so we're going to use those tonight because I, I'm going to do a little bit of layering and then I wasn't sure what surface I wanted to use today. Either the rustic round, okay, that's our stained wood round, or our new um, beaded round. I really love this beaded round. He is a little bit smaller, of course, with this frame in place. It kind of takes up your space um, to work with on the inside versus this guy. Also, our rustic round has the hole ready for us for hanging. Your beaded round does not, but you could easily put a sawtooth hanger on the back. Um, it is the reversible pan panel, so if anything you could do, you know, if you did the sawtooth on this outside frame or somehow tack down or staple down um, a rope or something to hang it that way, which I might do. Or you can just prop it in a display stand. Let's do the rest. Let's do this round. I think I want to do that round. Let's do that round. Okay. So first things first, we're going to get this guy out of the frame 
because that will make it so much easier to chalk on. Okay, and these guys are super tight in here. Try to use our scraper here to help us along with that. Okay, we're just going to pop that right out. We'll put that to the side. And then I think, do I want to use the black side or the white side? I think, I think, I think, I think we'll use the black side because I think I want to make one of the bunnies white. Hmm. I think we'll do it on the black side. I think that will make sense. Um, we'll have to get these guys painted up, so we'll do that next. All right, let's get the cocktails out of our way for a moment. And let's come over and bring out our spring bunnies pattern. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is just chalk this entire round with this pattern. So let's do spring bunnies pattern. And then we need a fuzzing cloth. All right. Because we're chalking on one of our chalkboards, we're not using the wood. Um, you really don't want to wax the chalkboard if you can help it. Um, sometimes I will on the white side, but you, they recommend that you don't. So you do you, whatever you guys are more comfortable with. And let's just get this peeled off. Now this is sticky. It's never been used. So we're going to go ahead and fuzz it. Take a little bit of that tackiness away. Now there is a link in the video description. Um, except I just realized I did not put the fuzzing. Or maybe I did put the fuzzing cloth in. I don't remember. Anyways, it will put a couple different surfaces in your cart. It'll put some chalk paste colors, some squeegees. Um, all the things. If there's something in your cart that you don't need, then go ahead and remove it for sure. No need to buy something you don't need to complete this project. Um, if there's something there's missing, you're missing, such as a quick dry tool or wax or I don't know, um, trimmers anything, anything and everything you think you're missing or need or additional transfers or services, go ahead and put those in before you check out. Uh, so you don't have to place two different orders. Okay. Shipping is $8.99 flat, which is awesome. If you're a club member, you get one time, um, whoa, you get a one time order. Have you guys not seen me this whole time? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, one time $5.99 flat rate shipping order, which is awesome. Club Couture will be changing come March 1st. Um, so if you want in on all those perks and promos and specials, you want to make sure that you subscribe before the end of the month is over. Um, otherwise, Club is changing, okay? All right, let's get this guy in place. Honestly, it does not matter where you stick it. Make sure there's no little fuzzies in there. That might be on the other side. All right, you want to make sure this is nice and smooth. I feel and see a little bubble there, so we're going to take that up. Get that out of there. Sometimes the... Um, fuzzing cloth has little bits on it. So you want to make sure that's nice and clean for you. Make sure this is rubbed down. Uh, you can take a squeegee. Let me get a squeegee. And really rub that down. 
you don't want to have any little any little area of space in there can you see the difference the left side is pressed down whereas the right side is not okay so that means there's a little bit of air pockets underneath there okay so we want to make sure you, we get that nice and flat And go from the center out. Okay, that is good. All right, you could make this project as complicated as you'd like or as easy as you'd like. I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna make mine pretty easy. Okay, so we're gonna do it in white. I brought out um, all my neutrals. So I have white, dune, black, camel, storm, and bark. Uh, you can get that in a six piece palette pack. It's called the neutral pack. That's also in the cart link. Um, and then I brought out Dear Diary because I like that. It's like that pinkish. It's a very um, sub subdued color. This was going, this was a freebie, um, I think back a couple months or maybe January. I don't I lose track of time because um, I thought about maybe coloring the bunnies that color. I don't know. That would take an awful lot of work. So I'm going to use a small squeegee. You can also use, we have one of those four inch handled um, squeegees. That does a really quick job when you're working with these bigger transfers. We're just going to smear this on here. Really, you're just smearing it, dragging it. See how far we can get with that one little scoop we took. Make sure you go through the edges here. You know, I honestly love just white on a black background. It looks so awesome. All right, so we're just going around this whole round. Still using all the paste from the first scoop I took. Probably going to need to get a little bit. Yep, we're going to get a little bit more here. All right, make sure you hit all those edges. Honestly, the edges will be covered by our frame. Okay, let's put that excess back. And I'm going to grab a tissue here Kleenex okay let's take this guy off and kind of hold it down I don't want to stick my finger in it because I tend to do that which I did <laughs> let's see use squeegee just to hold the board down. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. Let's get this dry so we don't make any goofs. Oh, I just love white on black. So sharp. It would be kind of cool to take some kind of a um, like a dark wood stain and stain it, just kind of dirty it up. That would probably be done better on our the rustic round. I'll have to try it one day on one of our little chocolate chips, see what it looks like.
It is cute just like this, but we're going to make it even cuter. So let's put this aside. Let it finish drying. Uh, somewhere. Okay. So we're going to need our cutouts. Let me get those. Now, let's see. We'll need to co uh, color these first, too. All right. So it's the white board with the white or black board with white bunnies. Do I want to do a black bunny with white or a white bunny? Or do we do gray bunnies? Honestly, I think we can do it black because the transfer, there's a lot of transfer silk screen. Um, and that'll work. That'll work just fine. Okay. When you get your um, cutouts, if they look like there's like this one kind of looks a little smudged, right? It's from the side. The side gives off because it's a burnt edge. It does have like soot on it and it's just the soot powder. You can wipe that off or it doesn't matter. You don't need to. You can just paint right over it, stain it, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to lightly wet these. We're going to dip our brush and give our bunnies a good coat. Just using our chalk paste. You can use acrylic paints, whatever your little heart's desire, whatever you have on hand. Okay, and I usually go to, I brush towards the outside. Can also try to remember to go with the wood grain like once I get it all coated then I'll fix my brush brush strokes Another little spritz down here. Water just really helps it spread real nice. You can spray it too to uh, give it a nice final um, brush strokes here. All right. All right, let's let that dry. I'm going to try to do the inside ears of the bunnies a little pink color. We'll use the Dear Diary for that. And my machine um, has its limitations with the bed size. So I had to get creative. So what I did was I had the little bunnies um, 
they can link into the big bunny and the baby bunny. So you kind of have to get both pieces, you know, because that piece doesn't look right. Unless you just chalk like this piece and then chalk the outer piece just to give it some dimension. That would look really good too. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy painted. Think he's wet enough? Maybe not. Let's give him a quick spritz. He may be a little too watered down. That's all right. We'll just keep painting over him. We'll get it. We'll get him covered. Just take a little bit longer for him to dry. That's all. Try to get all the brush strokes going the same way. Light touch. Don't need a heavy touch. We'll give these guys a wax. And then we'll start chalking. I think I'm going to do white. Then, like I said, like the inside ears will give it a little, um, a little touch of Dear Diary. I have to pay attention to which ears are facing out or in. Okay, let's clean that up. We're keeping this pretty simple tonight, color wise. Let's get our wax. So, what I've been doing lately is just getting paper towel, kind of bundle it up, kind of. Kind of move it around in that tin, pick up some wax, and just kind of spread it. Let it sit there a minute. Let's get some more. some more. You want to make sure you wax it really well. Okay. I'll let that sit a minute or two, or not even a minute, just a moment or two. Let's go ahead and turn that inside. Excuse me, inside out. And then we'll get it buffed. Really work it in there. You can tell when it really loosens up on you that it's nice and buffed. Plus, you'll get a nice little shine. Ouch. That hurt. Ouch. Oops. 
actually pretty hard. So I can get this nice and buffed. Get the shoulder workout. Okay. One more area here. Got to get their ears. Oh yeah, a bit slippery. Okay. There we go. All right, let's do, let's work on the little guy first. Okay. Let's get that transfer out. Now these transfers are water soluble. They just wash up with water and a, um, Board Eraser does a really nice job. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Chuck Decor Moore and Denise Pugs. How are you? All right, let's get this. Okay, this is a big one. Now, I'm not going to have to wax this because, or fuzz it because we did wax it. Tails. Okay. It's a big, 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 big transfer. Let's get the chalk paste out of here. All right, we're just going to lift this corner up and scoot this guy under. So let's see, this is kind of the outside of his ear and this guy. All right, so let's put this under. Luckily, our transfers are nice and translucent these days. Okay. All right, cute, 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 cute. All right, so right here and then right there. So let's get our dear diary. And I am going to, let's see here. I think I'm gonna use this guy. This is just um, a tool I had found. I think it's more for I think people use it more for clay and that kind of thing, but it really helps with, I don't know, it just helps. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of color this in pink or Dear Diary. Just that one ear because the other ear faces outwards. This is going to be actually kind of cute. There's that one. Let's get this guy. And I'll try to avoid this when I go over it with the white. Uh, we'll just see. See how good we can get that. Okay, we're going to save this for the next bunny. Let's put our white. And just chalk it. So you can see a lot of that's going to turn white on us. I get that edge. I'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's finish chalking this guy.
going around that pink area of his ear. Okay, make sure you get all that excess off. Oops, hit the ear a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna blend that pink in a little bit. There we go. That should do it. And let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, look how cute. You see his ears are barely pink, but I love it. So cute. So cute. Okay. As I look, this is, oh boy, that is not a lot of contrast, is that? Hmm, it'd be probably better on here. We could do the bunnies on this side all in the pink. Because that probably is way too much, too much of the same. You will lose those bunnies. We weren't thinking. All right, let's get the big guys done. And then we'll chalk that other side. Okay. All right. I can kind of see where this goes. So we can start right there. Placement just right here. There we go, I think. Oop. Need to move it over just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's make sure we don't have any air bubbles in there. Okay, again, we're gonna come in with the Dear Diary for their ears. This is just a very, ooh, let's do his, a bunny ears pink or eyes, sometimes they can be pink, right? That ear and then that, oh, this old ear right here. The white bunnies have pink eyes. Okay, well, my black and white bunnies have pink eyes too, I think. I think I'm gonna make mine a little pink. Mine just aren't a bright pink, they're just a little dull pink. Good there. Now we'll chalk these guys white and then we're gonna have to redo the other side of our board. And it's okay because like I said, it is, um, it's the chalkboard surface. So that means we can 
uh, wash it off. Honestly, I could wash it off. It'll just be easier to chalk on the white side. Around that ear. Okay, we're getting pink everywhere. Carefully. Yeah, I think so too. It's just, it stands out. Okay. I'm trying to pick up this excess, and I'm not doing a very good job of that. It's getting a little pink in our white here. A little bit of hot mess tonight, friends. A little bit. Not the technique, but me. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I think I've got it. I've got the majority of it. So let's pick this up and see how it, or no, we got to blend in those little pink eyes here. Blend that a little bit. Kind of tone that pink down a little bit. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, we will clean that later. Let's get this out of the way. I think we're gonna we're a little low on a battery somewhere it says okay there's that bunny let's get him dry done like the background we could have um maybe done it in a dune just kept it a real neutral color hi Molly. come here or wait a minute let me get on dirty come here can you say hello come here come here come on no he won't come to me. Come here. Come on. Come on. Nope. He's just going to stand there and wag his tail. All right. Let's turn this guy over. And so it will go like this eventually. Okay. We're going to get that guy in there. So I think we should do the pink. I think we should do the whole background in pink. That will give it a nice contrast, I think. Okay, so let's put these bunnies aside. Let's grab that transfer. Okay. 
And it looks like it's stuck on itself. So give me a second here. There we go. Try laying it down again. Actually, we're just going to lay it like it was. Now, hopefully, none of that white dried in our screen. So we'll be able to just do it in pink. Or should I, I probably should just wash it. I should wash it. Let me do a little tester area here. Let me just test like down here and see if we'll be able to make it go through. Because I really want to make sure I get a nice, oh, that worked. Okay. I want to make sure we get a nice result here. All right, let's glob this on. I would probably advise you guys, if you ever make an oopsie like this, to go ahead and uh, definitely wash your screen, especially because it sat there for a while. If anything, I'm going to reactivate the white that was on here and it'll kind of start to do like a blending with the white, which is fine. It's on a white background, so it's really not going to affect it too much. Okay, except for like right there, that looks all white. All right, let's put that back. Get all that excess off. You do not want to leave that behind. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Is this the light? No. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, it's probably going to still look pretty cool, honestly. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get these dry. Speed up our tool here and our glue gun. Make that will look a lot better. It's on the edge, so I'm not quite sure how much of that we're really going to not see.
Once the glue gun gets all hot, we can go ahead and put down our wood cutouts. And then we can put our beaded frame all together. Actually, we should probably do that first so I know where to place the cutouts. Get our frame back. Oh, I'm about to lose my bunnies. Okay, let's put this back. Flip it over. that well, I feel might be upright here. I'm going to go off this bunny as him being straight. Okay, and then we'll place our bunnies down. There we go. I'm going to kind of put him in the, their, them in the middle. Straight. You could also do um, some, put some greenery down, like put some fake moss down here. That would be pretty to glue that on. Um, of course, just glue things down if you think you're going to keep this permanent. If we want to go around the edges of uh, beads, we can do like a little black wash around there um, to kind of make that black make sense. Okay, now let's lift this guy out. Looks like the glue is ready. Somewhat. Starts to drip. It's not quite hot. Lots of bunnies. Cute little bunnies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that guy down and stick this guy down. You could also do some pop-ups so you can put some wood cut cutouts or some um, double stick foam tape to really give it some height. Give it a really cool 3D look. Like you could add some little spacers to give it a little more dimension so it would pop up like this. We'll keep it all one, one uh, layer here tonight. There we go. Makes it look like it's one piece that it's not actually cut in two. You could, um, if you really wanted to make it look dimensional, you could give this an outline of a different color. There we go. Okay, I am going to... Get my black paste again. I think I'm going to go around the edges. 
Let's get this really wet though. We, just, we don't want a really heavy coat of it. We just want a really light. Or I guess not. Does That just definitely finished it off, didn't it? Alternate inside, outside, inside, outside. Ruff, ruff, ruff. There's the pup again. Such a big mouth. Okay, what do you guys think? that for sure just finished it right there perfect all right that is cottontails friends and bunny spring bunnies pattern i like that a lot i like it i like it a lot turn that off all right so even though we had a little oopsie on the other side not necessarily an oopsie we just i wasn't thinking about the contrast between the cutouts and the background so i'm glad we flipped it and um that definitely just finished that off and obviously i won't be changing this piece out i could change you know i could flip it um, and do something different we'd have to wash that side um, and then just, or just save the panel for when it's Easter and, um, find another panel to put in there because they don't make replacement panels for this one. So it's not quite 16 inches. It's a little shy of 16 inches. So you would have to get exact measurements. Um, and then somewhere find circle blanks to throw in there. So thank you. All right, guys, I've kept you long enough. I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, demo. And I hopefully, uh, hopefully this, you feel like this is something that could fit into your home decor, especially at Easter time or springtime. And, uh, but in your color choices, of